UConn and Oregon. This quarterfinal matchup at the Moda Center in Portland. Zone defense here for the Ducks. You won't see a lot of that from Dana Altman. And a deep three. Pretty stroke from Tristan Newton for UConn with the game's first points. Well, I had 33 until I got to UCLA. Will Richardson yeah, denied shot. Send the it back to no go. Off their mailing list now, huh? I think. Beautiful move. <laughs> and finally Dante coming over. Sonogo gets it back Beautiful. and falling down. Based that a little bit better to put Waldo or Perrier out there on the side. Instead of Nate Biddle who could be the high post feeder. Beautiful Second stroke. three for Tristan Newton. Pulled down by Alex Caravan for UConn. He did spend a year. Nate Biddle did a prolific prep. Which has been prolific in producing great stars. Jordan Hawkins strokes it from the corner. Only comes from the championship. What kind of deal is that? Great defense here by the Ducks. Joey Calcaterra off balance Joey. off the window. Great moves here. Beautiful defensive pressure. And, and on the move, Joey never hesitant in the great state of Oregon. Oregon State, which put up a great showing today against Duke. Hey, the Oregon schools are, are doing really well. Joey Calcaterra. For Joey Calcaterra, who's over 50% from three to start the season. Why would you go for that pump fake? <laughs> Jordan Hawkins, the pull-up. And underneath, Klingon misses the tip by Adama Sonogo for UConn. Molly, the Niger River, the Senegal River. Not sure if they're doing much rafting down there. Outstanding Klingen. defense from Donovan Klingon for UConn. Okay, you got numbers. Space the floor, hit the big man coming up behind the play. Jordan Hawkins, three. Timeout, Oregon. Dana Altman has seen enough. You can look at the block first. That leads to the three. Now oh, Klingon just so big, so strong. Doesn't even leave the ground. They're pushing the ball. Quick trigger by Jordan Hawkins. Wow. It still sells a few books, yes. Well, we were in Powell's bookstore just yesterday, or the other day, and had a great time reminiscing. Joey Calcaterra, another three. He's got eight to lead UConn. Over there. It's great. Too. We have a great conversation. She sees the game quite well, quite differently than I do. We had the privilege of being on campus the other day. Yep. Just spectacular, remarkable 30 years. With Eric Lautenbach, the best sports marketing man in basketball in the whole history of the sport. And another three for Tristan Newton, who's had a big first half. Third foul, by the way, in Quincy Garrier of Which is Oregon. a terrible development for the Ducks. I mean, they're struggling enough. Another oh. three. Tristan Newton hit four threes all season coming in. UConn clears it. What's Richardson's numbers here tonight, Roxy? Will Richardson tonight is now oh, one for beautiful. six from the floor as UConn in transition attacks. This is a beautiful display. Of, of how to play basketball against a big, powerful front line. And all these guys that Dan Hurley has got just coming at the rim. He's got the big guys anchoring their job, but with Andre Jackson. Not leading by as many as 13 here in the first half. But with the arms down until the guy gets the ball, beautiful drive. And it goes for Tristan Newton. Dante is right-handed. Promised to be so throughout, but the drive right time and time again. The theater, Park MGM, Las Vegas. How about the fact that the Final Four is going to Las Vegas in 2028? Jordan Hawkins, a three, his third three. UConn has made 10 threes in this game. Ever, ever do that. Whoa, great defense, Klingon. Look at him run the floor and get him the ball. Hawkins again. Klingon. That guy is good. And the putback, Donovan Klingon. They're the home hosting team. Three Portland area schools here in PK 85. Beautiful. And the slam, Donovan Klingon for UConn. There's a cultural difference right now in the way that the Huskies are playing. But there's also a cultural difference in, in the administration. When you're coming down the lane like that, and and finally, Dante is shuffling his feet and losing his balance and basically going to the ground. The junior college level in scoring last year. What has he got today? He hasn't scored yet tonight. Hmm. Jordan Hawkins. Good look at a three, and he buries another. They got a lot of length. They got some good guard play, and 
Uh, I just think that, um, you know, on paper, they look like as good a team as we've been so hard all summer. But they will, and uh, we'll see what we can do in the meantime. All right, happy Thanksgiving, Tom. Thanks, man. You just love the spirit of Tom Izzo now in his 28th year. I know, I know that quote. I read it. <laughs> you read the book, since? I did. <laughs> I read it years ago, Donovan clinging on the alley-oop for UConn. Playing beautiful basketball. Coming off that faux screen. And when you got that kind of length and timing and skill, and Joey can deliver the ball perfectly. Time and time again in Folly Dante has no Bill Bowerman, there's no Phil Knight. A lot of us can say that about all of our coaches. What a move, and the finish, Jordan Hawkins, and one. This is a clinic, and it's a challenge. He, he ended up at the Patrick School in New Jersey. And, uh, the, the rest is history. This guy's going to go on for a great career. Yeah! Adama Sanogo <laughs> for three. Was, <laughs> no matter who fell for the Lakers, <laughs> they, they put it on Kurt Rambis. Sanogo with the lane, and UConn with their largest lead of the night. Incredible force of nature. Great defense by Klingon. Transition three from Alex Caravan, his first points. Dante's winning at 11-9, but Sanogo's team's winning the game. <laughs> That's what it's about, Roxy, please. Look at Caravan. Back-to-back -to -back threes for Alex Caravan. Oregon to transfer from Regis University in Colorado. Dante lost it going up. Look at Klingon. I mean, this guy has worked total field goals. <laughs> That's a good path towards victory. And beautiful ball movement. And there is the record tying three from Jordan Hawkins. 18 for Hawkins tonight. I'm just wondering. Considering Oregon's got seven healthy scholarship players and their top wings, three of them as the pull-up. In sports, in life, in culture, in everything. But look at the way that this guy... Andre Jackson just flows right back. And a everybody. three for Adama Sanogo. Performance from UConn. The Man. most threes they have ever made in a game. Ever. For, in UConn men's history. That's Tonight, a long time. We got it. We Happy watched it. Happy Thanksgiving. But Sanogo is letting it fly. Beautiful basketball. Step back and a stroke from Naheem Aline. I need to call your mom and dad. They're watching, you don't have to call them. Please. On Final the score, How all UConn. You? How pro do you? 83-59, a fabulous performance for the Huskies. 6-0 for the first time since they were national champs back in 2013. 14 and hitting a school record for threes in this one.